The Super NES Classic has already been out for a couple weeks, and if you want to play more than the 21 games released on the system, this simple tutorial will help you mod your system to add up to 300 NES games. The first thing you want to do is download HackShe2. The version I am using is V2.21B. This will get updated regularly. You want to scroll down and install the HackShe debug. I already have it downloaded right here. You want to open up the zip file and drag the folder out into your desktop. Close that, trash that, and we're going to work from here. So we're going to open up the folder. We're going to go down to HackShe. We're going to double click. Now, I have the debug version downloaded. So you can see what you are doing with this little window pop up. I don't need it. I'm going to minimize it. I don't need that anymore. I am doing this for the Super NES Classic. Hello there, I'm very glad you are using Hackshe 2. It's very simple to use. Just click add more games, select your ROMs, press synchronize and follow the instructions. You wanna click okay. The first thing that we wanna do is dump the kernel before we add any games. Go to kernel, select dump kernel. Do you wanna dump the kernel? Yes. Please do the following steps. Make sure the power button is turned off on your Super NES Mini. You wanna connect your Super NES Mini with the power cord that comes with the system. Hold the reset button and turn the power switch on. After a few seconds, release the reset button and the power LED should not be on. If you do this and nothing happens, it means you need to install the drivers and you wanna click this right here. I have already installed the drivers. Hold the reset button while you turn it on. And when you hear that noise, you can let go of the reset button. So you wanna make sure that you dump the kernel because if you ever wanna restore your Super NES Mini back to factory settings, you will need this file. Okay, it's done. Your original kernel is saved in the Hackshe 2 dump folder. Do not lose it. Hit okay. I'm gonna open up this folder to show you where it is at. This is very important, you don't wanna lose this. It's in the dump folder. What I do is copy it. Um, I will put it on my desktop. I will even email it to myself just so I have it. I will not lose it. Now we could add games to the system. Just select add more games. Go to the folder where your ROMs are. Select all of them and open them up. You may get this prompt. Some games will not work for the system. As Hackshe 2 keeps getting updated, more and more games will work eventually. I'm just gonna hit yes for all. The games are now on your system. Now we need to update the artwork. You want to highlight all of them. Right click, download a box art for selected games. If I had 200 games on here, this would take a long time. That's the only reason why I put a few games on. That's done. Now, if you put more than 100 games, 200 games, 300 games, you wanna make sure you go to settings and pages folder structure. You wanna make sure you split up the games into folders. Now, I don't have that many games, so I'm gonna put pages split games equally and then synchronize and you are done. That is all it takes to mod your Super NES Classic. It is very simple. For anyone that has modded their NES Classic, you can see that this is a lot easier with the new Hackshe 2. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. I will make a new video once more Hackshe versions come out and you are able to download more games, more systems. If you could, please give a like and I'll see you guys around.